Hey, Overcomers, I hope you're all having an amazing day. I'm Dara Marie, I'm your favorite mindset teacher, and this is Be an Overcomer, where you are inspired and empowered to walk by faith and use the gift of imagination to create the life you desire. So Overcomers, today's message is signs that your manifestation is near. I know in like the Law of Assumption community, a lot of Neville Goddard's works, his books, it's called Birds Before Land. So it's like signs before that thing is going to manifest. And this message is inspired by a subscriber's question. Basically, they were asking about an SP. I don't know why the last few videos, God has had me in the space of about talking about specific persons and you know manifesting relationships and love and all that stuff. and. She basically was saying, what if you're believing for an SP and you think that person is it, but God may have something better for you? And I totally get it because I believe as we evolve in our thinking, the things that we desire, the things that we want, it evolves too. I shared with you, um, you know, a couple of videos back, like, in my uh, past relationship, okay, years ago, which like ended up being chaotic, in the beginning, I was looking at things like, okay, well, you know, he wanted to be a teacher, I was in education. Um, he like was very driven, works hard. I believe I'm driven and work hard too. Like I was looking at surface level things. And sometimes you realize like as you're going through things, hindsight, they say is 2020, as you're going through things and you look and you're like, okay, that truly wasn't God's best. And I also believe God was giving me signs along the way, like, uh-uh, this isn't it, mm, mm okay? And I kept ignoring the signs. Like, I truly believe like God sent me sign after sign um, that I should have exited the relationship sooner than I did. But I will never regret that season. That season built my faith for this season and going forward you know, for my life. And also my son was birthed in that season. Like the greatest blessing ever was accomplished in that season. So I will never regret going through what I went through. Okay. So how you will know that your manifestation is near, you'll start to see signs of that thing. I've heard other people in the law of assumption community talk about how for ladies, you may hear his name you may see his name, his first name, his last name. Um, if he works at a particular place, like for me, that season where me and my SP were in no contact, as I was like going about my daily life and whether it was running errands, I would literally like drive by offices that represented his career. And I was like, okay, Lord, like, what is this? Like I was constantly seeing signs or hearing his name or seeing his name written or even the last name. And it's like, his last name is not that common. So it was just so weird. I was seeing signs, but I wanna give you also a biblical perspective. We know in the Bible, Gideon, at one point he kind of doubted the promise that God had for him. And he kept going back. And I think he asked the Lord several times. I think it was about three times. And on that third time, he was like, Lord, really, if this is you, if this is a sign that it, it is you, I'm going to put out a fleece. And if that fleece, by the morning time, by the next day, if it is wet and the rest of the land, the rest of the ground is dry, I will know that it is you, that you are confirming that promise for me. So... Overcomers, I wanna encourage you, okay? Cause like I always tell you, it's important to have a relationship with God. It's not just about a religion. Like you are here to live an overcoming and a limitless life. You are here to walk by faith and use the gift of imagination to create your best life, to see your heart's desires manifested. So I would encourage you, and I actually saw someone else talk about this, create a sign, like, Ask the Lord, Lord, if this is you, can you conf So overcomers, as I was telling you, create a sign with the Lord. Like God knows how to reach you. God knows what will make sense for you because each and every one of us, we're at different faith levels. And God knows by showing you certain signs that you will know that it is from him. So I've seen like on social media, different places where 
Other people that are of faith reference Gideon and they say, create a secret password with God. It could be a secret phrase that you want your SP to say, or it could be a sign. I've seen ladies mention where they ask the Lord, you know, if they're supposed to proceed with this relationship, I want to see like a lime green car drive by or something. So it could be something that will make sense to you. I would say, ask the Lord. Okay. I would say, create something between you and God. Do not share it with anybody. Do not talk about it, you know, outwardly. Just let it be, be between you and the Lord. And when you see that thing, you will know without a shadow of doubt that it is from God. Okay. And that's basically what Gideon did. Gideon was like, he kept asking God and then God, you know, he said, Lord, if it's you, I'm going to put this fleece out. And if it is wet and the rest of the land is dry, I will know that it is you. So overcomers, God is always speaking. There are signs everywhere. There are signs everywhere, but too often we're not paying attention. So this is why I say get quiet. You have to go within. In order for God to speak, you need to sometimes sit in quiet. The word even says he speaks in a still small voice. So those are signs that your manifestation is on the way as Neville Goddard talks about birds before land. And to answer my viewer's question, you know, sometimes you may be believing for one SP, but God may have better for you. So that is why I would suggest to you to ask the Lord directly, pray about it. We know the Holy Spirit guides us into all truth. Create that secret password with God so that when you either hear that phrase or if it's like an object you're looking to see, once you see that thing in this outside world, you will know that he's confirming his word to you. Okay, and sometimes the confirmation, it may come through people. You know, the Bible says, let it be established by two or three witnesses. So that is another suggestion to you. But there are signs everywhere. We just have to pay attention. And I just want to tell you, don't go about your day looking for the signs. Things literally will come to you. Your manifestation, the things that you're believing for, they will literally come to you. Our job is to just stay in faith and keep believing. Know that all things are possible with God. So I hope this blessed you today. I pray it encouraged you. Thank you so much for being here. If you like this message, please comment and subscribe and always be an overcomer.